I'm Julia. Welcome to my channel, Freestyling It and Sharing the Discovery. I'm mom to three young children, and we embrace learning as a lifestyle. We are entering into the season of Advent, or Christmas, and experiencing the beauties and busyness that is so characteristic of this time of year. Because of all the bustle of this month, we are taking a break from some of the normal school routines, specifically math and reading lessons, and immersing ourselves in, as Sarah McKenzie at Read Aloud Revival calls it, Christmas schooling. So come along for the ride this December in this series of four holiday-themed videos as the kids and I share our weekly highlights. If it's not obvious by my voice, I'm a little under the weather and this has been the case for both my children and I this week, but we still did the school that we had planned. In Jan Brett's Christmas Treasury, we are reading the story of the Wild Christmas Reindeer. This story is set in the country of Norway, and it's a really endearing story about a young girl named Tika, and her job is to gather the reindeer to prepare for Santa's delivery of gifts around the world. We're reading Jan Brett's Christmas Treasury because Sarah McKenzie at Read Aloud Revival has made it her Chris Christmas picture book of the month. And so we're reading uh, one story each week from the Christmas Treasury. Last week it was a more well-known story of Jan Brett's and this week it, I had never heard of the Wild Christmas Reindeer. As a tag along to that, we made little reindeer to add to our Christmas tree. <laughs> what was really neat is that I was able to find this craft online that used supplies that I already had in my craft closet. It was very satisfying to be able to use supplies I already had on hand and even some odds and ends to be able to put those to good use was quite satisfying and they made quite a pleasing result. <laughs> Sort of as a tag along to Jan Brett's Christmas Treasury, we've been reading um, the stories of Kirsten, an American girl, for our after reading book at night. Kirsten is originally from Sweden, and so I had picked up her books. My mom read these to me when I was a little girl, but I picked up her books because Sweden is a Scandinavian country, and Jan Brett bases a lot of her stories, in fact, if not all of her stories, in a Scandinavian setting. And so I thought reading. Kirsten's story, even though she is moving to America, would be quite a fitting connection. And she also has a Christmas story in the middle of it, which also ties it in quite nicely with the season. Unlike last week, where our God's Big World unit study combined so well with our reading in the Christmas treasury, this week has been brought a different topic to mind, and that is of skyscrapers. The crown prince in Saudi Arabia has a plan to build two buildings that are very long. He wants them to stretch over 100 miles. And so God's Big World used that as a prompt for learning a bit more about skyscrapers. I checked several picture books out from the library and we enjoyed reading them at kind of more as fun books on the couch, more than like in a school setting. And then I found this book as well, which ties in really nicely with Christmas as well as skyscrapers. It's called The Christmas Owl. And um, it's based on a true story of a little owl named Rockefeller. And he was named that because he was found in a tree, Christmas tree, that was harvested and brought to the city um, and was placed by the Rockefeller Center. Um, I believe that's in New York City. So really sweet book that tied in with the season and with our unit study topic. Last but not least, the book I've been reading this week is Why Humans Build Up, The Rise of Towers, Temples, and Skyscrapers. This perhaps is a little different from what I might normally read as it's more like a picture book, but I have really enjoyed going through this and I like the way that the book is divided. Um, by topic. Here are the different reasons that this author has drawn out as to why people have built up. Chapter number one goes over security, building tall to stay safe. Chapter number two is spirituality, 
for those who dream of the heavens. Chapter number three is ingenuity, structures as inventive as they are tall. Chapter number four is utility, sometimes being the tallest thing around is useful. Chapter number five is rivalry, competition to build sky high. Chapter number six is beauty, built to be beautiful. Chapter number seven is industry, rising up to get the job done. Uh, chapter number eight is observatories, building a bird's eye view. Chapter nine is luxury, creating extravagant homes high in the sky. And chapter number 10 is efficiency, using less land by building up. And the last chapter, 11, is sustainability. Can tall buildings help us save the planet? Lots of fun facts in here and thoughtful ways of thinking about buildings and the structures in which we live and are surrounded by in our day to day. For understandable reasons, my children have declined to share any highlights this week. And I myself debated whether or not to do a video this week, but I have felt up to it and so I have done it. So I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of our low-key holiday school week that became even more low-key when we all came down with the flu. Wishing you all the best this holiday season.